watching. Seventy percent done. And Thirteen k more. Ouch. Okay. Um, that's. If I'd stop and think about it, I wouldn't have to imagine it. I could just do the math. That's a lot. Oh, just that list. That's gonna be smart. That is an absurd amount. So if you're three quarters done, it's not three quarters, but close. So divide that, multiply that by basically three. It's like 50k plus block build. Dude. Dude. Oh, and the dog's water. Go see that back out. Okay, I'll get there. Those guys here. Uh, got razors. I don't want to do with pillagers. Mic off. I might get to play eventually. Oh wait, so pillagers. What sharpness are you alluding to? Uh, oh, whatever. Yeah. Oh, my donkey Kong. There I am, all worried. I've got the oldie slayer here. Ooh. You with the crossbow, that's not hurt. Smack. Solve this problem. Did they even drop anything good? Yeah, lame. Three crossbow. Not even a good chance of one. Huh. That seems kind of anticlimactic. Bad omen. And the bucket. Problems. I will play some. That's why I usually wait till they go to bed, but that's usually midnight or better. Last night it was 1 30. Okay. Back to the build. Hope I don't end up having to cut more trees down. off the ones that you can see on the inside. I haven't decided yet. Hopefully my nether portal spawned 
doesn't dump me in the middle of a pack of soul sand like I did my last game. Not on Twitch per se, but the last time I fired up a Minecraft game. Maybe I should need something else. Well, when I said on Twitch that I was gonna take people along for how I game, this is kinda how I game. Eh. Yeah, well, once she goes to bed, it'll be better. Now that we're getting on towards midnight, we're probably about there. We'll see. Oh yeah, it goes on my speakers. It means it comes at your speakers. Mic off, mic on. What do you think about that? I'm glad it doesn't do that for... Um... Like... Meetings. Zoom or Google. My, my company uses Google. The G Suite. And I need more lumber. So I don't know why. Might do a raised bed, find some soil that won't turn to grass. Find that coarse coarse dirt. Yeah, that one. trees. Uh, let's see. So for the flat roof that will become the attic floor, but also the ceiling for the ground floor, i thinking for material. Oh, that's tall. Of course it is. Well, that's what this is for. Stone brick. That'd be kind of cool. Stone blocks. I don't know if I have enough material to make concrete. Too often to search for all these. Huh. Uh, if you want to get started, just start. Because then by the time you get to where you can do the quality that you might want, you'll have the practice to make the quality that you want not be the reason people are watching. I've got the gear to stream arguably at quality because I used it for other stuff. I mean, I've been a PC gamer since... Uh, 19, ninety. well, okay, so heavy into PC gaming since about 1994, because um, that would have been when I started going to high school, so I went from a very small school attached to a church to the public high school, which went... Um, you know, I went from having 60 children in the entire school to 440 children in just my grade level. And so I was able to meet some friends with some different, different interests that I also hadn't known since we were six. Uh, so that got me introduced to actually the original Doom. Oh yeah, for OG... John Carmack and and his whole company there. Uh, and then I played a lot, and I mean a lot, of the OG Diablo and Diablo 2. So Diablo was 94 or so on the old school Battle.net. Uh, I played that a bunch. Uh, and then there, of course, Diablo who came out when I got to college, basically. Uh, actually, I was in, I'd been in college for a while when Diablo 2 came out. I think I was a sophomore. You have an idea. Oh, what is your idea? I want to hear. Or read. Not hear. Oh, 
attempted. Could both my monitors show the same thing? Record one with a phone. Why would... Mm, no, that's probably not going to be better than just broadcasting what's on the monitor. And I wouldn't think... Or using some kind of capture to some kind of capture software to grab it. Well, let me know what let me know how it works out. I might watch the recording depending on what time it is. Oh, I'm gonna plant some trees. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I'm planting trees. Give me that one. So I'm gonna use all these up. Oh, she wants to go to bed. Okay, that'll free me up to actually play for a longer stint. And switch back to the higher quality audio, but I might just switch. PC handle. Oh, I gotcha. It doesn't have the oomph to play a game and stream at the same time. Okay, I'm going to take her to bed. She's asking to go to bed. Who am I to say no? That would be a terrible idea. Hey, now I can actually go for a bit. Hey, you know what? You work with the tools you got. And you don't let anybody tell you that you can't. Because I think... And it's going to be a nightmare for anybody wanting to try and get into gaming. Especially if you don't already have the hardware. Because I've been wanting to... I don't know if you can see it from here. Kind of. That pink chair behind me is my oldest daughter's computer. And it is the gaming box I had before the one I'm sitting at. Um, so that's still the, the host name still Yggdrasil. Because um, she hasn't figured out that she can change the computer's name or that it means anything. And... This one, since it's newer and beefier, is Odin. Uh, although, I don't have any reason aside from I like the Norse stuff. But, her Yggdrasil back there is still sporting uh, GeForce, or an NVIDIA, I don't call it. Yeah, they still call it GeForce. Um, GTX 260. Um, which, oh my gosh, when did I get that, when did I build that box? I built that box a goodly while ago. So, hi Thor. And Norse, speaking of Norse mythology, let me see. Um, see, hi Thor. Say hi, you're on the internet now. <laughs> so, and that would be the cat. Oh my gosh, he's such a such a pain sometimes. He's a pain, but he's so friendly otherwise. Uh oh, Roomba's going. First world problems. That was gonna be loud. Got one of those in the hood, Roomba. Uh, anyway, my my daughter's computer, Yggdrasil, is still sporting the GTX 260 from a while ago. Uh, I want to say... Oh, Lordy, when did I build that machine? I built that machine in 2010? Surely not. 2011? Yeah. Oh, black yeah. Well, he's a black lab. So that means he is a big, friendly goofball. But we like it that way because we have children and there's no better way than to have a big, friendly goofball of a dog when you've got kids. Oh, I'm taking a risk there. I'm going to shave one of those if I not watch it. Uh, 
I don't think he'd ever intentionally hurt anyone or anything. Anyway, uh, my daughter wanted to play Subnautica because she used to use a laptop that my wife has. Well, we still have it. Um, and it's newer than her desktop by about eight or nine months. So it's actually about the, uh, maybe, maybe a year and a half or so. Uh, it's about the same age as her. And my cat is destroying something. Well, he thinks he's destroying it anyway. And so the GTX 260 maxes out at DirectX 10, which means Subnautica is bugged out. It is bad. You can't play it at all. So well, you have to play on the laptop for a while. So well, I want to use my big screen. That is a big, black, dumb-looking cat. Aw, don't say that. I'm sure he's plenty friendly. Um, and I want to, so well, surely, like my computer. The one I'm using now, I built in 2018. And it's got GTX 2... Not GTX. Yeah, GTX 10... GT 10... Uh, it's a 1060 from, from NVIDIA. And I spent some money. I mean, it wasn't... It was expensive, but it wasn't obscenely so uh, in 2018. I thought, well, surely those are hitting the used market now, because they're coming out, well, you know, with the 3000 series. And... Boy, howdy, you can't touch... I mean, we're talking a two- and three-year-old graphics card now. You can't touch one for well over the 2018 MSRP. That is silly. By the same token, it's so absurdly overkill compared to the rest of the specs on that computer. But it will at least do DirectX 12. I was like, well, I'll just get out of the same one I've got. Or maybe find a used 1080 or something. And give me a little bit of an upgrade. It's friendly when he gets pissed, he beats us. Eh, eh, sounds like a cat. He's friendly when he wants attention and then <laughs> decides he doesn't want attention and he's done. But yeah, I couldn't touch a 1060 or 1080 for under $500 US up to eight. I mean, it was ridiculous. And started looking into it. So one, I mean, Bitcoin well, and other cryptocurrency miners have shoved oh, picks on a random cat. Yeah. I mean, your crypto miners have shoved graphics cards through the roof for a long time. But this was even more and found out that I guess there's been something of a chip shortage, such that, like for the new ones, for the new RTX series. And so, like NVIDIA went back and has been making a new run of the 1050s, 1050 Ti's, and you still can't touch them for under $600. Dumb. Um, so I priced out getting her a 1030, which is probably fine for the rest of the hardware that's on that box. Um, so, I might get her one of those. My next paycheck or two. And that way she can use her desktop to play. So I think I'm having to bust out the laptop. Uh, I think... I had... I had an older... AMD and Radeon card that I'd bought for pretty cheap about a year, well, two years ago now, which would have been fine, except I threw it out because I didn't think I was ever going to use it again. So uh, that was before I upgraded my son's computer because it was in his old one. I was like, oh, I'm just part of his old box. I don't, I'm not going to use it anymore, and I threw it out. That was dumb. I should have kept it. It would have been an upgrade for my daughter's computer. I didn't lose a whole bunch of money on that, and he got used out of it, so it wasn't a total loss. It just felt really dumb. But I was trying to clean up. I, I keep too much stuff. I need to, you know, not keep as much stuff because it just clutters everything. Our cats, our cats don't have the opportunity to pick on random cats. They're indoor, indoor only, because 
they're Siamese, and I think they're pretty clueless when it comes to the outside. I don't think they would know what to do. Shoot, the one acts more... Aside from knocking stuff off tables, he otherwise acts like a dog. It's weird. He'll be around. He gets mad if you leave him behind. That would be the one... Practically comes to you when you call him. you got only nine cats. Yeah, I have three dogs and two cats and four kids. So that comes up to nine. Does that count? Big dog wants attention. Give big dog attention. I like the big dog. Nobody can see the big dog on camera, but he's getting pets. Because, you know, that's what you do. Except he's on the wrong side. I can't play one-handed when he's on the le on the mouse side. There we go. That's better. Now I can pet the dog and play Minecraft at the same time. What do we think of next? Or has this technology gone too far? Is there a way to learn such a power? I think that was a bad attempt at an, one of the more recent Star Wars movies quotes, and I probably screwed it up, because I didn't like the new Star Wars movies. <laughs> Session is an hour plus long. You've gotten 30 minutes of gameplay. Let's see if I can push that. Push that average up a little bit. Those are rookie numbers. I probably still don't have enough logs, but I have to wait for my trees to grow. Like that one. That was nice of it. Put that over there. Yeah, like that. There we go. Thump, thump, thump. I wouldn't insist on using a little. Well, that doesn't save me that much. Crawling. Crawling in my skin. These wounds, they will not heal. I do not sound like Chester at all. Fear is all my consuming world is real. No emo crowd? Let's see. I'm gonna make this one. Two more taller, or maybe just do the flat roof that way. Yeah, that's what I'll do when I finally do the upper roof. Let's go get some sand, because I'm I need glass. I'm gonna have to move this chest indoors too. A good plan. Move that. Let's move this to the quote unquote inside. I can use the axe to be faster. I just don't care. I do here though. I'm tired of waiting. Move this inside. Let's see, what am I using for a workroom? Guess this will be map and work. Not for now. It'll be fine. Blast furnace, that would have been smart. No, nope, come back here. We'll plant those. Yeah, good spot for that. Materials, materials. Actually, go ahead and convert those into torches. Still got stuff that goes in here. Itch. Dang it. I'm going to take a break in general. 
fuck that is so. Right at the age where I can start using slang wrong and make all the make all the dead people cringe. Can't wait. Or use the out of date. Use the out of date slang. People start crying. What do you think? Got my wheat crop on fleek. I guarantee I said that wrong. I guarantee I don't care. <laughs> boink, boink. Red and black paying attention now. I'm back in the <laughs> Sorry, that was funny. I shouldn't laugh at other people's misfortunes, but. If I didn't laugh at other people's misfortunes, can I really be considered a misanthrope? <laughs> Is it also a little scary? The German language straight up has a word for that, employing the misfortunes of others. can with reasonable confidence pronounce correctly. I did not bring oh man. Bad line from King of the Hill. Goes to the hardware store and he's checking out the actual gardening hoe. And his wife has to say, I don't know what it is about hoes that makes them so attractive to men. Yeah, I groaned. It was bad. Kind of funny. I mean, uh, I see what they did there, but... Uh. It's almost as... Oh. Can't say it. Man. I'm already pushing my... I try to keep... I try to keep my banter. Adjacent. Mostly because I don't know if the kids are listening. Uh, mostly because I should. Because the first. So this is my first stream. The first couple of streamers I picked to watch. was really. kind of potty mouthed. And I, mean, I don't care that much, but it seems a little excessive. So apparently I do care because I didn't really like to watch it. So. I forgot what we were 
doing here, right? Yeah. Let's just start playing with the trees, with the cows. Oh, now I remember. And it's about to, be about to break. Find a village. Somebody will want to trade these. Maybe. enough to fill in the whole thing, but close. Same actor, whether or not I got the name right. Andy was in Airplane way back in the day, the original Airplane, which is a hysterical movie, by the way. Two spades. Oh, that's fine. A spade and a half's worth. Okay, I'll go get Shield. I see. I would prefer the Johnny Cash version to the Nine Inch Nails one. Not that Trent Reznor's version is not good. Yes, it is. But he was not the man in black. Not his fault. Only one man in black. Go ahead and take this along. Some creeper protection and. Shame the red sand doesn't give you red glass. That'd be cool, but it doesn't. Well, I'll go ahead and walk over to the normal sand. Can I make that? Oh yeah, I can make that. Wee. It's clay. I'll make some bricks later. Let you down, I'll make you hurt. into researching all of his 
all of the recipes and the history behind them and all of that is so cool. I'm trying to think my favorite. I don't know if I have a favorite. recipe he was making was some 16th century like British lasagna. It had no tomatoes in it whatsoever, so it was not Italian American style lasagna for sure. Well, if you're gonna commit sepulchre right there. stacks and change. That's fine. side. Well, that's not helpful. Whatever. Ha ha ha. I was listening to... Oh, um, Rebellion from Gravedigger. It's just... There's, there's your old school metal. That was awesome. down downstairs. That's a good song. Can you do sand in a blast furnace? I don't think you can. That means it's going to take a while. Well, maybe I'll set someone to cook and do something else. Doesn't matter, I've got stuff to put in the blast furnace anyway. There, get some iron. Block of iron. Bunch of iron. Sweet. See what my phone's doing. Chirp, chirp. Oh, some Reddit post. I don't care. Do some XP farming. That sounds like fun. It's always fun to smack zombies in the face. Right? I think so. to ask how that works. It says I have one viewer up above, but if I go to my chat and look at my 
viewers list. It shows like six or eight users on there. That's just the people who have clicked in and left. Well, if anybody's listening, maybe they can answer that question. Ba, 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 ba. Let's see if there's anybody down here waiting to whack. Oh yeah, hi there. <laughs> I will smack you with my bow instead of ooh. Any good in chance? Eh, not really. Not for nine bookshelves. I need more bookshelves. Right? Is that what this means? Show viewers list. Me. All of them. Oh. Whatever. Don't quite know how all that works yet. But that's okay. Wait for one of them to drop a melon seed. That'd be good. The only downside is I found on the, in the recent spawners, you kind of have to stand up next to them to make them work right. When you wait at the bottom for them to fall down, they don't. They don't spawn. So they also can't tell when they do fall down. When I was doing this in the last world without screaming, I'd go stand next to the spawner and then go get a snack or something. And when I come back, there'd be about half a dozen or something in there to go beat on. One more. Actually, I had a I think I had That's why it's three wide. One wide once. So I hit the uh, square limit and start suffocating. That's boring. Nobody wants to watch me XP farm. At least not like that. Oh, that looks cool from here. Ooh, I'm happy with that. Real happy with that. I'm not done, but I'm happy with it. Now I'm seeing some spots I missed. Yeah, that's going to be all right. Sorry, RMB. I know diorite's not your favorite, but I think it looks neat from a little ways back. I'm going to finish that log layer, though. I didn't realize I'd left that sit like that, nor did I run out. I did not run out. I think I've got enough. We'll find out. I apparently suffer from attention deficit ooh shiny as I hop from task to task but this is my made up game world so it doesn't matter I once made a house on a I think it was a realm server? No, somebody's actual server. And they I made the house out of wood, but it had enough players that somebody and it was close ish to the spawn in point and like a sizable city, but I just built it on top of a hill out away from it. Um the downside is because it was made out of wood oh, I connect that. Like almost entirely and somebody was online all the time it was exposed to all the weather and one time I logged back in and I noticed like half of the house was missing and somebody said oh yeah it got struck by lightning and basically burned out like, they come in and I never had that problem before but that's because I play so much just single player that I just had never thought of it because I'd never run into that particular problem. But it, when I thought about it, it made sense. I'm like, oh yeah. Oh, I'll put a sill up. That 
I get it now because someone's on and so the clock's ticking all the time and so it's procking actions. So yeah, I got hit by lightning and burnt down. Hmm. Sad face. I rebuilt it out of stone. And I didn't have that problem anymore. And then they then the server went away. What you gonna do? I'll put the doors on from the outside is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Doink. I'll figure it out for the sill or the transom later. It was kind of sad. That was a little. That was a little disappointing because I. That was a. It was a neat group. Oh man, can I put a? Would it look stupid to put a trapdoor up on top to use for a transom? If I can, what if I can? Let's find out. Then I need to doll this stairwell up some point. Maybe do smooth stone. I want that. Here. Do, do, no. Wrong one. Um, how does one make... Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> nice. At least I think it's cool. I think it's cool, and that's all that counts, because this is my house. Oh, no, that'll make the smoke go through the floor, and that'll be dumb. There? Yeah, make a beam go across there. And hang a lantern off of it. Yeah. Go fill in the rest of that wall. Forgot I moved the chest inside. I'm swift, can you tell? to one though so you'll have to forgive me if I'm a little slow I really do like that transom idea that's really I don't know why it took me till now to think of it oh well where are my glasses done probably getting close So from the outside too. I'm gonna hang lanterns off of these. It's a good thing it just takes iron nuggets because I've got a bunch. Decided yet how I'm gonna do that. Do that there, do that there. That room's done. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I bet the glass is getting close to done. Let's go look. 
and then, oh, what do you think, red and black? Should I do... What do you think I should do for the next floor up? Something contrasting. I'm thinking just granite. Granite or stone bricks. I haven't decided. Can you do cool stuff with the terracotta? I may have to do a little research before I decide. Probably gonna put the windows in and shut her down for the night. Because I'm getting kind of tired. Glass is done. Very nice. Let's toss. That's a multiple of eight. Alright. That one in. And that one in. Let's get those cooked down already ahead of time. Cobblestone. You just play no cobble? Yeah, probably. I kind of stopped building with cobble for my buildings uh, because I did. I had the classic um, cobble everything reasonably large castle once. Yeah, I can see that, the cobblestone. Especially if I do slabs, so it's kind of sunk in up there. Because if I do a half slab and put them up high, then this beam will kind of protrude down, and that'll be really cool. Nope, I think. Which is convenient, because I have a metric... F yeah. A proper metric ton <laughs> of, of cobblestone. You can guess what I'm trying to say, but I'm also trying to not say it. <laughs> Seriously, what am I doing this slow way? Eh. There we go. Do some glass. Oh, I guess I could do some stained glass. Mm. That'd be cool. I don't know if you like it, though. It's just a hassle. Like, two, two. Maybe I... Oh, I should probably do a stained glass, like a design on the big window. Mm. If I have enough to do a monogram. Da, da. Keep the outside to the outside and the inside on the inside, although that's not near as the same level of, level of concern as it is in Space Engineers. So if I move mm. up, up, down, down, down. Oh, that'd be really cheesy. I'm not going to do that. Something else I thought of for my well, YouTube and Twitch channel. I need. I wonder if I should come up with some kind of like personal logo. But I don't know how I would do... I guess I just need to pick something. Because um, I was watching... Jittery Owl the other day because he was playing late because apparently he usually runs like 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Eastern and I am not awake for that. Um, obviously, his username, Jittery Owl, he has an owl. Oh, go figure. But I handle his squisher. What am I going to make for that? Logo or mascot? That's going to be weird. But I kind of want to come up with something. Because I know that's kind of a nice thing. You have a, well, your marketers. You wanna, you want something that's instantly recognizable as belonging to your brand. Uh, wankers all over. I mean, uh, <coughs> pardon me. <laughs> My opinion might have slipped through. But by the same token, I see the logic. If you're trying to build a brand, having a something easily recognizable as your brand is basically well, literally an icon as it were not in the religious sense but so you gotta be careful <laughs> or not careful necessarily but not for any worldly reason anyway if you're a person
person of faith, you start throwing the word icon around, it gets a little... I mean, you got a context, you know. Taking the glass. That's going to be nice. Do something cool here with some stained glass because this is such a nice big opening. Not sure what I'm gonna do though. I wonder if I can do a stylized, I think a stylized Mjolnir, but I don't know how I'm gonna do it with it's three by one, two, three, four, five pixels. It's gonna be kind of weird. I'll think about it. But you make a compelling argument for cobblestone. So, come back here. I want you. Let's go get some. considering it's pushing quarter till two year time, if I remember correctly. Oh yeah, I've got a swamp near me. I could do mossy cobblestone easy if I wanted to do mossy. I might have grabbed a little too much. I might have grabbed a little too much. Especially since I'm going to do slabs. Yeah, that should be fun. go to sleep because I woke up at I woke up sixteen hours ago. And it's slightly terrifying when I say it like that out loud. I don't need the stone cutter for this, it's fine. start with. Brothers of Metal have a song all about Fenrir, and it's awesome. Maybe not as awesome as some of their others, but it's still pretty dang on good. And they released a video for it just a little while ago, uh, a couple of months ago. And it's pretty awesome. I mean, it's Brothers of Metal, it's properly epic. And borderline foolish and silly, but, I mean, they know that. It does not make it any less fun. Hey, Red, if you're still listening, what, 
what's your music style you go for? Or does it depend? Because I know it'll depend a little bit on what I'm doing, what I'll listen to. Like if I'm, ouch, duh. If I'm like working, working, I tend to listen to fairly chill stuff. Um, the chill electronic station from Amazon Music is kind of a big uh, one that I listen to a fair bit when I'm working, or um, when I used to listen to Soma FM, they had one called Lush that was like an electronic, but like smooth, almost smooth jazz type vocals, which was super relaxing. Or what's one I've listened to lately? I mean, just straight up, which is like younger me would never think to say this, but just straight up jazz for... Because it's just ambient music, because it fades into the background, for me, anyway, or just even ambient electronic. Uh, when I'm doing something physical outside that I don't have to think very hard about, and luckily love everything, I like a lot of stuff. There, I find I can't listen to uh, metal when I'm trying to work, because I'm a, so I'm a programmer. Uh, so I have to concentrate on what I'm doing and what I find myself doing if I'm listening to metal, unless it's songs that I'm uh, NF and The Weeknd. I think I've heard of The Weeknd. I don't know who NF is. Um, if I were to pick a favorite, like a single favorite artist and actually pick one, it would probably be Ramshai. Uh, just because... They're probably the only band I would drive to Cleveland from Indianapolis to see. Because I did. I mean, the wife and I did. We made a weekend out of it. That was in 2012. Because the tickets in Chicago were already sold out by the time we found out they were touring in, in the area. Because Chicago is two hours closer than Cleveland. And they had no opener. They had some techno TJ who was lousy. So no opening act, really, just the headliner. We drove six hours there. We stayed, let me see, two nights, one night. I think we stayed one night and went to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame while we were there, so we made a little trip out of it. Um, totally worth it. I would do it again, because Rammstein knows how to put on a show. Oh, holy cow. If you like metal at all, they put on probably the best rock show I've ever seen. Uh, so good. So there you go. If I had to pick a favorite artist, that'd be them. Uh, I do like... I do actually tend to like more clean vocals when I listen to metal and rock. Um, nasally stuff or faked or like uh, growls. I don't care for like growls and growl core much at all. Um, I like bands who don't take themselves too seriously. Uh, like Brothers of Metal is one. Um, Alestorm of course is a complete comedy act and <laughs> it's hysterical. They, I mean pirate themed heavy metal. Yep. Yep, they went there. They did that. The uh, Glory Hammer's fun. Of course, we're all like melodic, epic metal. There's. I used to, as a high schooler, listen to lots and lots of different kinds of EDM, and so some of that stuck with me. My favorite um, DJ was. Well, still is. He's not gone, but he doesn't make music anymore. Was um, Anabolic Frolic, who did the Happy To Be Hardcore series. Yes, I liked, well, still like Happy Hardcore. I listened to, not as much as I used to, but I listened to like DJ Ravine and DJ Kotz on YouTube. They're a lot of fun. Uh, there's, you know, like some of the old Paul Oakenfold stuff. Probably my favorite, because I think it was attributed to him, was Transport. 1999. Was an, oh my gosh, it's my favorite trance album. Hands down. 
Uh, Sandra Collins has a couple of really good progressive trance albums. I don't know if those are on Spotify or Amazon Music. They're hard to find because they're old. But Sandra Collins has one album called Cream, another one, Transport Volume 3, I have attributed to her somehow. I think that's her. Are awesome. Uh, Paul Van Dyke does Voyage into Trance every week. I think he's actually up over a thousand now. He's been doing that for forever. Or not Voyage into Trance, that's an album name. Um, a State of Trance. Paul Van... Not Paul Van It's almost 1am. It's not Paul Van Dyke. Armin Van Buren does A State of Trance every week as a podcast slash live stream show. It's awesome. The music he features is awesome. Uh, a Voyage into Trance is a Paul Oakenfold track, a track album from about 16 years ago ish. And it was okay. Man, I gotta keep it straight. Well, I have a flat roof on. I want to do nether brick, probably stair steps, and do just a a-frame roof for the roof. Ooh, what's this look? I need to get it lit up better. But it's five till one my time in the morning. I'm going to say good night. Thank you for watching, whoever's still here. And thank you for engaging and chatting with me. R&B.